boss from Wise Words Media. And I can't stop smiling, man. Went to bed with a smile. Woke up smiling today. It's a beautiful day, man. It, it kind of make you want to sing, right? Kind of make you want to hit hit some notes. Let, let's let's get a war cry in here. Cry, eagles cry. Cry, eagles cry. Woo! <laughs> this is one of my favorite Super Bowls of all time. One of the absolute best Super Bowls of all time. And I'll tell you why. First, we're going to start with historically. This one was huge because there was two starting black quarterbacks. It's a beautiful thing because for a long time, they try to deny black quarterbacks their, their rightful spot in the league, having them play uh, positions that they didn't play in college, such as wide receiver or tight end or running back. But no, this time you had two elite black quarterbacks going head to head. And as much as I hate the Eagles, I have a friend of mine that can attest. I was on the phone with him when the Philadelphia Eagles were drafting. In the second round, already having Carson Wentz, I was not expecting to hear the name that I heard. And that, ner that name that was spoken that night was Jalen Hurts. My immediate reaction on the phone with my friend was, oh no. That was the very first, that was the immediate reaction. I said, oh no. Because I knew what that spelled. Jalen Hurts was a phenomenal player in college, and I knew he was going to be trouble in the league. So, you know, I hate the Eagles. I hate them. But I got a lot of love for Hurts. And unfortunately, he's an Eagle. So I can't root for him anymore. But, you know, leave that team, go elsewhere, and we can pick things back up where we were. But you know what it is. How embarrassing it is for the Eagles to lose to Patrick Mahomes on one foot. The man had one leg. And he re-aggravated his injury. And y'all lost to a quarterback on one wheel? What? Yo, not a... What happened to this all-time, all-world defense? Wasn't the Eagles supposed to be this historic, all-world, 85 Bears-type defense? Y'all got chewed up. Y'all got mashed up by a man on one leg. A man with a blown ankle went four for four. Four drives, four touchdowns in the second half. 24 points to 11 in the second half. You want to talk about a choke job? Woo! I can see Reggie Miller like this right now. Yo, what a choke job. To a man on one. You know what's an elite defense? Don't give me no garbage about these dudes as an elite defense. Man, get the fuck out of here. Ain't no, no elite defense. You want to know what an elite defense was? The year, about two, three Super Bowls ago, when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers played the this same team, the Chiefs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers held Patrick Mahomes to nine points. Nine points. These, these dudes ain't even get double digits. Nine points. That was an elite defense. Not this. You crazy? Elite defense. Ain't no elite defense giving up 24 points and a half. 24 points and a half? Ain't no elite defense. Man, get the fuck out of here. Elite defense. Dude's got steamrolled, smoked by a man on one leg. 
Yeah, go cry. Cry, Eagles, cry. Cry now. Go. Cry now. The stink at the link. Y'all dudes stunk last night. The stink at the link. That's what, yo. Oh, man. This is one of the greatest Super Bowls of all time, man. Just seeing these dudes fall flat on their face was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had as a football fan. Word. Peace to Patrick Mahomes. My man, you did it again. Nothing but love, man. I love it. So, on that note, congrats to the to the Chiefs. Congrats to Pat Mahomes. Cry, Eagles, cry. And we'll see y'all next year. Peace.